Hello viewers, Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. First of all, I want to thank you uh, so much for your absolutely beautiful comments. I think uh, I never... I never get complacent and I never get tired of going through and reading them uh, and uh, let me tell you that your well wishes, your um, the comments, the threads, the information you bring forth is, um, is very valuable to this channel and I just want to thank you. Now on that note I've got some uh, you know dear friends uh, on this channel who are uh, located in Florida and I want to take a moment uh, to just send all of those in the path of Hurricane Dorian uh, love and light and the light of protection uh, and uh, spirits guidance um, in the, the 24 hours 48 hours ahead uh, and indeed in the weeks ahead um, and I also want to send that same uh, love and light to the Bahamas. Uh, it's just emerging just how uh, the, I think there are five people that have been killed in the Bahamas uh, due to the hurricane. Um, and I just want to send that healing, extend that same healing to everyone who is affected by Hurricane Dorian. Before I start today's reading on the voting machines, I want to pull three uh, three messages for from spirit for those that may be in the path of the hurricane, uh, for those that are, are looking for uh, guidance. Three messages from spirit. Three messages from spirit. Okay. All right, so the first card is that is coming out is uh, attachment. And I have to say I've been through floods uh, that have come into my house twice now. Um, and we lost a lot in those floods. Uh, however, a lot of furniture, a lot of, of course, we were insured, so it was able to be replaced. However, uh, you know, uh, I guess what you do end up with is uh, just uh, what makes a home. It's the people within. So, uh, you know, this is, again, uh, asking uh, for safe protection and safe passage uh, for all those people that are in the path, uh, path of the hurricane. If there is a loss of uh, physical uh, things, um, don't worry. Uh, the real, the real, um, the thing that matters is is the people that we love. Okay, so um, we've got victory. Um, so the victory card. Uh, so this is also is a number five, which is all about change. For those of you that follow numerology, it's around uh, the change that takes us further. Uh, that uh, the change that uh, allows us to learn and grow uh, in wisdom. The victory card uh, number two and number eight. Number eight, this is speaking to uh, collaborations, partnerships, help that is going to be there um, for you. Um, yeah, and the final message from Spirit is number 34. Uh, door to personal healing and happiness. So uh, there will be healing uh, at the end of this. All things do pass, including uh, tough times, and there there will be uh, there is light here at the end of the tunnel. Number three talks about uh, creative um, ways to approach problems. Number four talks about building again stronger foundations from the ground up. So three messages from uh, spirit. Um, uh, understanding that uh, you are not alone uh, and that you've got uh, many people around the world with you. Um, I just hope that the hurricane doesn't doesn't do too much damage, just goes out to sea uh, and uh, and that you all stay safe. So having read there, let's move to um, on to today's reading. Um, I, about two, three weeks ago, I did a reading on the voting machines um, and whether or not the votes were actually being changed, whether or not evidence exists there uh, that the government may have and uh, and who might be, be behind this. The information coming out of that preliminary reading uh, showed that um, 
there indeed there indeed was could have been <laughs> allegedly <laughs> vote changing um, but also that there was evidence that existed there from the various investigations that may be being held back. So it's a little bit like William Barr did with the Mueller report, brought forward some selective information that was able to be managed in the public relations sense, but which also covered information uh, that was uh, that 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 had already been gathered, and of course, this is the mark of a of a corrupt government when governments start to do this type of manipulative um, uh, releasing of information and holding back other other information, uh, and then of course it's up to uh, perhaps a freedom of information request as we have in Australia or uh, in America, uh, a battle through the courts to get to really dig down to the bottom. So um, I felt this might have been the case with, uh, with voting machines um, in the 2016 election. Now, more worryingly, we go to the Mississippi, I think it's your lieutenant gov gov governor's race in Mississippi, Mississippi um, in the last week or so, uh, where there was footage taken of machines actually changing votes um, and uh, taking from uh, the Democrat vote uh, repeatedly to the Republican vote. Now, we know what also there were allegations in Texas in, in the midterms and also uh, plenty of evidence in Georgia. Georgia was a battleground state um, and uh, for Stacey Abrams, a very close uh, a governor's race and, of course, there were these allegations that votes were changed. Now, after the midterms, um, the Democrats took that to the courts and, the, and, the, and as I understand it from Rachel Maddow, uh, Maddow's show, um, the courts have actually ruled that the entire system, voting system in Georgia needs to be updated and modernised. The machines are very old. They were operating on a Microsoft uh, program that was, you know, years and years old. I don't even think they update date the program anymore. So um, serious questions are really emerging and I think will continue emerge, to emerge around whether or not physical votes were changed in 2016. Now we've had repeated warnings from Mueller, from Christopher Wray, the FBI director. It, you know, it goes on and on and on that Russia uh, was uh, interfe is interfering in the American democratic process. If they can do that in America, where else can they do it? So let's go to uh, those voting machines in 2016 and let's look for what, uh, for any updates uh, to my previous reading. Uh, were, were, very clear question, were voting machines in 2016 changed? Yes, no, Spirit. Were votes in 2016 uh, were they changed? Were, were the systems hacks, hacked and were votes changed? So what often happens is that um, while this may not be able to happen in 2020, people are going to go in with their phones. Um, in 2016, there was less visibility on these older voting machines. Now, straight out, uh, I'm using my Radiant uh, Rider weight Tarot. Straight out, we've got the Four of Pentacles. Insecurity. Insecurity as a signifier card. What's challenging that? Uh, new starts. Okay, so somebody was insecure about a potentially uh, that election. Okay, let's just... Uh, and it's also this energy in this signifier card is around, you know, holding on to, um, well, Pentacles, holding on to uh, money uh, and uh, and... I think as we understand it now, uh, the way that the Republican Party has worked um, in, in recent years is to do the favours for its, uh, its moneyed uh, donors and its moneyed membership base. They were definitely, uh, according to the Ace of Cups, challenged uh, by... Um, by a potential new start. So they're the signifier cards so far. Let's keep going with the reading. Okay, so <laughs> we've got the Knight of Pentacles. Why, when we're talking about um, uh, Republicans, Russia, hacking into electoral sy sy systems, 
Do we always come up with these cards? All right, these pentacle cards. The Knight of Pentacles is somebody that go that really goes into um, moves into an area that no one else dares to go. It's a boldness. It's a cunning. Uh, well, I won't say cunning because there are good aspects to this. But in in relation to this reading, it's talking about money changing hands. It's talking about a, a, a boldness to go where no one else uh, potentially has gone. So let's just have a look. There was action taken is the foundation of this reading. It has to do with money. All right, in the past, we've got, again, this, this Knight of Swords. Uh, these are action-moving cards, suggesting that some action was taken. And I feel in these readings, you have to... Um, Try and put yourself, even though it's uh, diabolical, into the opponent's shoes. Um, and, you know, do the Republicans think that they are actually doing anything wrong? The brutality of their policy shows that they feel they're acting for the greater good. All right, so we've got the hanged man. Okay, so this is neither going forward neither or, or going backward. This is something being stopped from uh, occurring. Now, remembering we've got the Four of Pentacles and we've got challenged by the Ace of Cups. All right, so we've got now we've got a lot of Aces in this reading, and uh, and and this is starting to look like we're digging down and perhaps potentially hitting on a truth here because this is suggesting that some sort of truth will come out in the immediate future about in relation to this question. Now, what I'm feeling also here, this Knight of Swords in the past, um, when I did my reading a couple of weeks ago, I wasn't sure whether Congress had actually taken some action. I predicted that they would. I think I recall from uh, media that I've looked at that Congress is has is actually investigating voting uh, this voting machine issue in the in Mississippi. Okay, so um, we've got when I say Congress, of course, I'm talking the House, not the Senate. Okay, um, right now, what's occurring now? We've got this Three of Cups here, and I feel this represents the growing the growing questioning around these machines, these older voting machines actually changing votes. Now, what, are, what else is worrying is that, remember, Ivanka Trump uh, applied for some patents for uh, voting machines. We've also heard that the voting machine lobby, uh, lobby industry is, uh, is ha has uh, uh, been dealing with Mitch McConnell. So I feel, um, and this is when I did this reading and I updated it on my Patreon the other day, the depth of corruption was, was, was really striking. This is something that goes very, very deep and it's like weeds being tangled in the ground. To dig them up is going to take significant effort when there's been this kind of uh, interference uh, and covertness and suppression. Um, and this is this question here, this card here, uh, the Nine of uh, Wands, which talks about really uh, the difficulty here, uh, the boundaries and the barriers that have been put up, but just how much work it takes, it is taking to get this given the Republicans have held power in the last couple of years. Now, I go back, I just want to speak briefly um, to the voting, uh, the election commission or voting commission that Trump set up just after that, um, just after that uh, 2016 election, they wanted data handed over, um, uh, the states to hand over that data. Uh, states got their backs up and said, "No, we're not." And that commission was eventually uh, disbanded. But we have to go back to the role of that commission. What was Trump and the Republicans trying to achieve? We know that uh, Russia hacked into uh, electoral systems. Uh, and according to the report uh, that has been released by the Trump government. But 
the report, and particularly in Florida, but the report fell short of saying that machines had actually been uh, hacked into. Well, uh, Stacey Abrams and her Democrats from Georgia have taken, as you know, the fight up to, uh, up to I think it's a federal court, and that court decision has been handed down to say that the voting system in Georgia needs to be uh, updated. All right, so you've got all these red flags, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, fears and hopes. We've got the Hierophant, uh, and this is also judgment as well. So I do feel that you're going to be hearing more and more and more about machines changing votes from Democrat to uh, to Republican. How many aces have turned up here? Uh, I asked, this is the outcome card, I asked uh, the question. The question is uh, a yes, but it's, it's thrown up an ace of pentacles. And there we go to the why where we go to the why would the systems be uh, be changing votes and that uh, comes back to Russia and lifting sanctions and guaranteeing a Republican victory. Now, I don't want to stray too much into conspiracy theories here, I'm just going to read the cards. Now here's our Queen of Cups mirroring the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a yes, I asked were, according to my tarot reading, my intuitive impressions, I asked were votes being changed, had they been changed. The cards have given me a yes. The Queen of Cups is my mirroring card, and we know the Queen of Cups is has something to reveal. But this won't be revealed until there's enough support and enough momentum to actually do a proper investigation. The Queen of Cups is always uh, appearing in my spreads, uh, which to me now I'm gaining more and more understanding of the context that I read in, in the U on the USA. And I feel the Queen of Cups is showing that in time this information will be revealed. Uh, why? Because there's uh, the Five of Swords, there's been an abuse of power here. I have to say that uh, these voting machines that are flipping uh, votes are in red states where uh, the uh, governor's ship is more likely to be held by a Republican government. Base of the pack, five of cups, loss and reaction to loss. Number three, the Empress, my card for Russia. The Seven of Cups, Illusion and Delusion. So I have to say that these tarot cards, according to my intuitive impressions, are indicating votes were changed in 2016. We don't have to ask if they were changed uh, most recent, recently in Mississippi because we've got the footage to show that they were. So the next question for me is Russia hacking these electoral systems? Did um, Are they hacking? Well, did they hack the voting machines in 2016 and are they still? Are they still hacking them? Did the, Russia hack the voting machines in 2016? Did Russia hack the voting machines in 2016? Did Russia hack... The voting machines in 2016. Did Russia hack? Okay, so what I'm getting, the I'm getting um, a, a, like a, a the way that the roots um, or a weed or the roots of a weed spread out or a fungus even. Um, why would they just stop if they got into electoral rolls, electronic electoral rolls? Why would they just stop there? Why wouldn't they go further? Okay. If their intention was to interfere, which we know uh, the Mueller report has told us that, why would they just stop there? Okay, so did Russia, a quick yes and no, did Russia hack the voting machines in 2016? Battleground states, all right. Yes, the chariot is another yes card um, for me. Uh, the chariot is things coming uh, forward very, very strongly. Now, remember this forward motion. Why would they have stopped just with the electoral systems and not the voting machines? The king of wands, okay, leadership, taking leadership, driving something forward with a master plan. 
Here's our Queen of Cups again. Uh, she's talking about having information that is currently hidden, but that lid could come off that cup anytime soon. Taking action again on a plan that's mirroring the chariot. Okay. If we talk about, talk about clarifies, this is putting a plan into action. All right. The, now, this is interesting because this King of Wands, leadership, uh, a plan. This can also be my card for the courts and for lawmakers. And this can be the Seven of uh, Wands talks to me about having to defend oneself. Judges, defending. This is going to go to the courts. Okay. The Queen of Cups, December temperance card. Again, we keep coming back to December. What is going to be revealed in December, which will have such a bearing uh, that it is my intuitive impression that Trump will, uh, or that the, something, something major is coming out. This is also balancing the books. All right. So, okay. The way that I, I do a particular yes, no, uh, if you've got uh, a lot of wands and a lot of cups in your spread, um, that is more tending toward a yes. But the chariot on, on its own is very indicative of a, of a yes answer. So Russia in 2016 potentially extended their influence, particularly in those battleground states. Why was Manafort exchanging that information in the first place? Indeed. On those states to Russia, why did why did Manafort uh, uh, give that information? It's almost like a, um, uh, 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 I guess a who done it movie that stops short of the final bit of the story. Why is why is that? It's because the Republicans still hold the power and they are preventing this truth from coming out. So, who hacked? All right, did Russia? try and hack that uh, lieutenant governor's election in Mississippi. Of course, this can only be done in states that are Republican controlled. Did Russia hack those machines? I'm getting the Republicans, but anyway, I've got a yes here for the Ace of Wands, but I'm also getting a Republicans in the frame as well. To, uh, there's a disappointment card, but there's also one card being offered. So it would be that they wouldn't be changing every vote. They would be changing a certain percentage of votes. Okay. The hanged man preventing forward motion. And here's another yes card. The sun coming straight under the, um, the ace of wands. And we've got... <laughs> The truth coming out, okay, so uh, this could even be Putin and Russia being quite disappointed at the way that the truth is actually come uh, coming out. Uh, the hanged man, I go to Donald Trump here and the Republicans with the Ten of Swords. Um, base of the pack, we've got new uh, new beginnings. And we've got this abuse of power, this is in relation to Russia. And we've got the world card, which always comes forward in my readings. Uh, it's endings and beginnings. So um, Russia is still right now interfering in the elections. Moscow Mitch is blocking that legislation. Okay, so now we kind of are getting to the part of the story that hasn't been allowed to come out yet. We've got December, January as key months, something is going to emerge, some sort of information that will be a game changer. Okay, so let's have a look at one last question. Uh, will the Russians interfere in 2020? Will the Russians interfere in 2020? Will the Russians interfere? I'm getting a no because I feel that uh, that last bit of the story will, will have been told by them. Will the Russians interfere in 2020? Will the Russians interfere in 2020? Okay, one of the biggest things or reasons I talked about this yesterday in relation to democracy, people power. It's one thing to uh, suppress and dampen down uh, democracy in a dictatorship, but the USA is not a dictatorship and neither is the UK, nor Australia for that matter. 
Okay, we've got the magician actualizing something into reality. That could be uh, the Republicans. However, challenged by the wheel of fortune, things changing for the better. I feel like I should frame these cards, really. Uh, this is my card for the Republicans. I asked, would there be uh, interference in the 2020 election? This is the challenge, the, the destiny, the karma card, time as well. Okay. Ooh, foundation of the reading, the tower card. Um, now, what was I just saying? My intuitive impressions are really uh, this card is coming out more and more for, for Trump and the Republicans. Here we go. In the past, this information will, with the Queen of Cups, will have already been revealed. Uh, there will be restriction here with the Eight of Swords. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, okay. In the immediate future, we have uh, the theft and betrayal. Now, I, I'm going to ask for some clarity on that. Right now, we've got the Five of Swords with this abuse of power, and it is uh, the environment that it is uh, surrounded by is the past, which is telling me the, these investigations into the past are going to have a an implication here because the hopes and the fears, this is the Hermit card coming out again in September, we see this, more the Trump government and the Republicans are becoming more and more isolated. The outcome card is the wish fulfillment card. Sometimes this is my Trump card, but it's traditional meaning. Uh, is when I say trump card the um, smug merchant, but its traditional traditional meaning is uh, is a uh, a wish fulfillment card. Let's keep going. Okay, we've got our page of swords uh, as well, clarifying that the truth coming out, and this is the offer and the seduction that always comes out when I talk about Trump and Russia. Okay, we've got uh, the two of pentacles, juggling things, balls in the air. We're talking about the tower card here, trying to juggle things. It's quite heavy, uh, heavy, heavy going for the Republicans and Trump, and we've got them having to defend themselves. I'll go one, um, one card further because Pelosi is coming into the unseen energies at the base of the pack. So this is the congressional investigations. By the time we get to 2020, there will have been action taken by the Congress in some way to prevent um, to prevent this uh, from happening in 2020. Okay, so I'm just looking at the clock. I do have an appointment this morning. I'm very tempted to go one more question, um, but I, I'll leave that. I was going to ask, uh, will the Republicans be in power <laughs> by 2020? Um, and I've always seen Pence there for just a very short time. So it could be that Trump, as I have been saying for, you know, <laughs> so long, uh, my um, intuition is that Trump would resign, Pence would be in power for a very short time, and the Democrats would take the election. Of course, all the polls, all the polls, and, uh, you know, you can be cynical about polls, but every single poll is showing that, uh, that Trump will be turfed if he, if he indeed makes it to 2020. So um, I think that's good news. I think, again, I come back to people power and the democracy. Um, three last messages on this issue, Spirit. Uh, will the movement of the people actually result in a clean election or certainly a clean-up of this uh, corruption that we're seeing now? Will Three last messages from Spirit. Will uh, the 2020 election uh, be clean? Um, and will there be an opportunity to clean up this corruption? Will the 2020 election be clean? Okay, so signify a card. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. This is this money in politics, I feel. Challenged by the um, decisions that need to be made. This is the Crossroads card. Uh, and uh, this is uh, the Two of Cups. I always feel that this presents as a unity between uh, some Republicans and the Democrats. Keeping the uh, <laughs> the dynastic wealth, this is my Trump organisation card. 
are judgment. Okay, thank you, uh, Archangel Gabriel, um, which I did actually petition to come into this reading uh, because judgment is a very strong card. It's a necessary ending. It's an inevitable ending. And that's mirroring the Crossroads card. And we've got new beginnings with the full card underneath this new unity. So I do feel like I have always felt uh, that by the time we get to um, 2020, things will have emerged with that Eight of Wands. Um, and we've got uh, some kind of unity here a coming together. Uh, and this is really why is there a coming together? Because there will have been loss experienced. Okay, and I do feel the courts the legal system and indeed the lawmakers will be instrumental uh, and indeed the government at the end of the day will be stronger than Donald Trump. So that's my reading on your voting machines. Now people are going to ask me will the 2016 election be declared null and void? I'm not sure which would mean two, three years of decisions having to be questioned. I'm not sure that they would go that far. Um, it's tricky, isn't it? It's very tricky, which could be why Republicans and Democrats unify at some point. But that's for another reading. Uh, back to Florida. Um, uh, please know that I am thinking of you uh, and that everyone on this channel uh, is uh, and also any... Um, any viewers from the Bahamas, um, sending you again uh, light and love in this uh, in this tough time, potentially a tough time. I just hope that hurricane somehow goes back out to sea, but away from the Bahamas. <laughs> All right then, thank you viewers for tuning in. All the best, uh, and really, um, I have to say it again. Um, yeah, I mean. <sighs> The support that I get from this channel is uh, is overwhelming and I thank you uh, from my heart to you. I thank you for that.